Welcome to Tesla Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Today we'll be covering ArcGIS Pro using the Pivot Table tool to summarize data. Let's get started. We're here in Harris County, Texas, or you may be familiar with the city of Houston, and I'm looking at some census unemployment data. You'll notice that it's broken out into block groups, and each group of blocks belongs to a tract. So if I click here, you'll see which number block group and which track it belongs in Harris County, Texas. Since I know that the groups can each be tied to a tract, I'd like to flatten that data and essentially remove this redundancy when I'm viewing the data. So let's navigate over to the Analysis ribbon, where we can find our Pivot Table tool. You can begin by typing Pivot and double-clicking. If you think you'll be creating more than one version or variant of your pivot table, I recommend using Model Builder. Clicking the back arrow, we can now drag the tool into Model Builder. From there, the tool in Model Builder behaves the same as it would in the geoprocessing tool, only it allows me to copy and paste so that if I want to do multiple, I can do that right here. So let's add our input. Our input table is going to be unemployment. And our input field is how we're going to define our records, or essentially in this case, we'll be grouping all of our records under the tract. So every block group that belongs to a specific tract will appear in that row. Moving on to our pivot field, recall that each tract has a number of block groups. We're going to be utilizing the block groups to define our field names. Our values will be determined by the unemployed population numbers. Give your output table a name and then click OK. Much like you would select Run here in the geoprocessing, we'll select Run up here in Model Builder. Once completed, to ensure that our table appears in our Contents pane, we'll select Add to Display, and then go to Contents. Here we can see our pivot table. We'll right-click and open so that we can view our results. Notice now that I have block groups across the top, and each row is of my individual track numbers. If we bring in the unemployment table that we had used to run this pivot, and look here, you can see that it was over 2,000 records. By leveraging the pivot table tool, you can now see that it's reduced to 786 records. And that's because each row is now a unique track number rather than each unique block group. We've essentially flattened those one to many relationships. Returning to the pivot table, you can see that the maximum number of groups per tract is 7. There are a lot of ways you can use this table. I could add some columns via the Add Field tool and then use Field Calculator to do some summations. And similar to ArcMap Desktop, you can copy your cells into an Excel spreadsheet. To copy in Excel, I can use the Switch Selection tool and use it to select all of my cells. I can then click Copy. Navigating to Excel, I can simply paste or control V. Zooming in, you can see that all of our data has pasted. So let's return to ArcGIS Pro in the contents pane. And right clicking on the table, you can also export via data. To recap, Pivot Table is a geoprocessing tool that's inside the statistical toolset within ArcGIS Pro. It helps reduce redundancies and flatten one to many relationships. Pivot Tables are a great tool to help summarize your data. They're also a great step in preparing your data for further analysis. How do you use pivot tables? Let us know in the comments below. I think this is a great stopping point. This has been Tesla Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Thank you for watching, and please be sure to visit us at www.tessellations.us. Also, subscribe and ring that bell.